The village of Briens is situated in the Albula Valley Grisons. The buildings here are constantly developing new cracks, and the leaning church tower makes it clear. The village is built on unstable ground. It's sliding down into the valley with increasing speed. The hillside above the village is also sliding increasingly fast, and spectacular rockfalls occur time and again. The village is in danger, there is no doubt about it. To examine possible countermeasures, Stump BTE Bautechnik AG, a specialist company of the Marty Group, is carrying out 12 geological exploratory drillings around the village on behalf of the canton. The drill cores taken from the ground provide information about the conditions in the mountain. Drilling in a moving substrate is difficult, which makes the job demanding. Improper drilling techniques can cause drill pipes to seize irreversibly if the earth is displaced by as little as a few centimeters. Drilling attempts by another company has already failed. To make things even more difficult, some drilling sites are located in inaccessible areas. Lying about 150 meters below the village is the sliding surface in the mountain, the so-called slide horizon. The course of the slide horizon is unknown on the upper slope. The sliding mass is not solid in itself, and movement also takes place within it, hence the building damage in the village. Stump BTE expected the soil in the upper ground area near the village to be less stable. For this reason, two larger diameter sections were used to drill the first 60 meters of the borehole in order to protect the rest of the drill pipe. The procedure is referred to as the telescopic drilling method. Drilling is done through a rotating outer tube that remains in the ground. The diamond drill bits were selected by Stump BTE specifically for this geology. Inside the outer tube is a non-rotating inner tube of about 3 meters in length. As drilling progresses, the drill core advances into the tube. To achieve the best drill core quality, the core is protected by additional stainless steel half-shells in the inner tube, the so-called liner or triple tube assembly. A cable is used to retrieve the core from the inner tube after every 3 meters of drilling. The procedure is known as wireline core drilling. Above ground, a new 3-meter outer pipe is added. Then drilling continues. The highly unstable slide horizon could also be drilled through after cement injections and telescopic drilling. On January 30, 2019, the required drilling depth of 206 meters was reached. By mid-2020, all boreholes accessible by vehicle were completed on schedule despite the complex geology. For the remaining four boreholes, personnel and material had to be airlifted up the mountain by helicopter. The aircraft used was a 4,400 horsepower Kamov A32 with a lifting capacity of 5 tons. Stump BTE has experience with helicopter flights and the equipment was perfectly prepared. Cooperation with the Heli Swiss crew went smoothly, and after seven flights and 35 minutes, the last heavy load was airlifted up the mountain. The following well is the deepest of the entire project with a depth of 341 meters. It's located above the slide zone, directly at the well visible breakaway edge of the slide. This challenge was also successfully completed at the beginning of September. The most exposed location on a ridge in the middle of the slide mass was tackled before winter. Almost two months later, this borehole was also completed and the equipment was prepared for further transport. With the first snow having already fallen, every day counts for the villagers and one more well was expected to be drilled before winter finally set in. The heavy equipment could not be moved until the next helicopter operation. Planning the exact location was vital. The water reservoir, which is essential for drilling, and the mixing unit for the polymer drilling fluid. Then the special drilling rig, weighing at least four tons. A material container next to the drilling rig later serves as a working platform. The hydraulic pump is in close proximity. The men are on the mountain every day for weeks on end, and the weather is not always good. A heated recreation room is indispensable. Finally, the control stand and the control unit. The men then set to work immediately on the assembly. The equipment was up and running after one week of assembly. November was warm and the snow melted again. To supply water, the men installed an 850-meter pipeline to the nearest stream and a temporary reservoir above the drilling site. 
Drilling three meters takes about three hours under normal conditions. Then the core is extracted and a new drill is added. On November the 22nd, the borehole reached the required depth of 215 meters and the winch pulled the last drill core out of the mountain. Thanks to carefully selected drill bits and steel liners, the cores are practically polished and perfectly suited for evaluation by geologists. All boreholes were elaborately fitted with water level sensors and an inclinometer tube into which a device for measuring inclination and movement was periodically lowered until the holes were crushed by earth movements a few weeks after drilling. By the end of 2020, a total of 11 core drillings were completed around Briance. Despite challenging geology in the most difficult circumstances, not a single meter of 1,500 drilling meters had to be abandoned. The evaluation of the drill cores and the measurement data from the boreholes will show whether, and if so, how the Briance landslides can be prevented. It's the full commitment, expertise and experience of Stump BTE Biotechnic Arge that makes these findings possible.